It was the first ever Los Angeles art fair, so it was very glamorous flying to LA. It wasn't so glamorous being there. 1998, and it was, it was a London fair. It was, I think, about 12 years ago or something. It was teeny, it was, it was right in the corner at the top of the stairs. So I was very young, I just started at the gallery, and it was the um, Art Cologne um, in Germany. Sitting at an art fair every day or standing around waiting for people to look, buy, engage with your work it was kind of a bit of a nightmare. I didn't really know what I was doing. In hindsight, obviously, at the time, I thought very well about what I was doing. Hugely successful because I didn't have any money to do fairs. Uh, but it was still a good experience that I kind of remember. It's a good learning curve. It's difficult to really compare being at an art fair to anything else. It's a trade show. Being at an art fair is a big trade show. It depends how you do, really. It's going to determine what the experience is like. It's a sort of catwalk as well, so it's a place to be seen, a place to socialise. It's very intense. You're sort of on your toes the whole time. You are in a sort of slightly bizarre trade show. It is an audience there who want to network, be seen to be walking around. You're there for however many days in a, in a kind of, you know, airless building. You know, anything can happen. It's not like any other experience within the art world, I believe. I mean, for the most part, it's brilliant, you know, it's just like, when it works, the best meal ever. Well, there's loads of faux pas you can make. I don't know what the biggest one is. I mean, apart from the obvious of sort of giving out a wrong price or something. My biggest faux pas has often been walking around an art fair very um, naively. The worst thing you can do is um, be a snob. The thing with fairs, it's about getting it right. It's actually all about preparation. You know, pick your timing uh, of when you go up to uh, art dealers at galleries. I mean, the one thing you never, ever, ever do is if someone's been on your stand and then they walk off into someone else's stand, you would never go follow them onto someone else's stand. I still get constantly surprised by the people you know very well who ignore you at art fest. I was realizing that everyone was ignoring me when I was going up to say hello to them. What was behind me was some very big collectors from Miami who were the wonderful Rubel family. I wondered why all these people I knew very well were ignoring me and I was sort of giving them quizzical looks. Like, you know, it's me from London, David. Why aren't you, you know, talking to me? Well, there's the people behind you who might actually make a real difference to their reason for being in Miami that year. So we don't make faux pas, hopefully.